This is Lord Mad Dog, and we are playing Avron. Today, we are going to do a tutorial on the new beta building turrets. So let's jump right on in. I'm doing this mainly because I've had a couple people tell me that it's too complicated and they do not understand how to build turrets. And well, they're not all that complicated. They're not exactly perfect the way I would have gone with it. I would rather it be, you know, you have, oh, that's a neutral there. That's part of the new beta there, that new nature, nature thing. I'd rather be you, you know, select your turret or, and then you place it and then you can edit it. But things are a little bit different. Okay, so to start with the building of a turret, you have to have a turret base. So right here, I have a perfect plot place for a turret base. So we're going to go ahead and go find Iron Turret Base. That is a new block type. Every single one, every single um, element, uh, resource, has one. Obviously, because you can't build turrets that are non-appropriate. Uh, they have to be at least of that level, uh, like Xenon or Organite, or higher, or higher, to be able to build on, or lower. No, a higher, yeah, 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 yeah. So if I wanted to put a trinium, a trinium turret on a trinium uh, on my schist up sip, I would have to be either a trinium or higher, which would be ex xenon, organite, or avaron. So you see, all of them have their own new turret base. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with an iron turret base because that's what we're pretty low in this setup here. So. Let's go ahead and transform the block. So I selected the iron turret base and now I'm gonna transform my block into an iron turret base. There we are. Now, I have it selected. You, when you have it selected, it'll have a green dot on it. You can then move your camera according to where, I'll show you this. Uh, you'll be, if you are different angles, go ahead and match block. Uh, that's not gonna work. Here we go. So now, this is top block, see that? Now if I move my angle of a camera, there. Now I can build to the side of it, or I can build to that side, or I can even build to this side. See how the green thing changes? That's where side you're gonna be building on. So that's, that's part of that. Now, obviously this is only has one side, the top side. So let's go ahead and click this little enter turret design mode, or T for shortcut. Boom, and now we're building a turret. You, I would explain actually how to build a turret, but most people are probably gonna to want to know more or less how to use a workshop turret. So this is the most popular design currently on the, net, on the, to, the net, network, not the network, currently on the design market. Um, workshop, yes, and I actually do like it myself. All right, so we're gonna use this turret design. Okay, as you've seen there, it said it was bigger because it's originally size four and all it did is shrink it down. Now sometimes I've had a problem when you use a design and it shrinks it down that it being misaligned and I'll talk about how to fix that a little bit later because when, but not first we're gonna go with this. So right there, now we have a turret placed right there and it is a top, uh, turret slot size one and obviously I can't make it smaller right now because it'd be too big, too small. Okay, but I'm actually can also make it as a, as a turret size one. So it goes, turret sizes go in one point, okay, go in point five, one point, one point five. It goes in point five in scales. So, okay, now that I have the turret made, this turret design is inactive. Place a turret on it to, on its base to activate it. Okay, now I have that turret base and nothing happens as you can see let's go ahead and put a turret on it oh what's obviously not gonna work not that one that's an organite one all right so here we're gonna go ahead and take this turret and boom now it doesn't work right off the bat and you're like well why isn't it working well because you're forgetting one thing you have to have crew and I have no crew I I, when I first started to build with this, I could not get my guns to shoot because I forgot I had no crew on my ship. So I'm just gonna use a robot crew crew here with a gunner workforce, yes. And now, there we are. The gun works fine. The turret shoots around and it looks pretty cool. A it, 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 little bit of paint work and that would actually be a pretty nice turret set up for this system. 
All right, and that is how you do the absolute basics of turret, of using turrets. Now let's talk about scaling it, and then we'll go into detail on how to, to change and uh, make your own turret. So let's go ahead and scale this first. Now this is the problem with turrets. They do not scale with your ship. So this, this ship here is specifically designed to be this size, but I'm gonna scale it to let's say double the size. All right, apply, boom. Now, as you see, the turret did not scale with my ship. All right, let's fix this. Let's go back into turret edit mode and change it. So this turret size is only one of four. So, but when I do this, it doesn't scale up. It's see, I can now scale it to 2.5 turret size, but it doesn't scale up. Now, if I had saved this turret as a bigger one, which I actually have it saved as a bigger one because it comes in a four slot, which is the biggest, you could just hit it and boom, you would have it bigger. But that's not gonna work here because um, I don't want to do that. I wanna show you how you would do it if you started with a, a base of, of 0.5 and you wanna take your turret bigger. So let's go ahead and do that. So this turret that we're messing with does only have two out of the three parts. Normally you have a turret base, a turret body, and a turret barrel. Now a turret base is what the turret sits on. But as this turret has already got it, basically a base, as you see here, this whole thing here is basically what I wanted to have for my turret base. Um, that's why I specifically chose this one because I like that. Uh, so it didn't, I didn't need a turret base. And this one's a turret body, and then obviously the turret barrel. So that's the three parts, turret base, turret body, and turret barrel. Okay, you can turn off and hide the other parts. All right, so now let's talk about scaling it up. So let's go ahead. Each part has to be scaled separately. So let's go ahead and scale it to two times. This is the turret base I'm scaling. But you notice, ah, oh, you cannot transform, fail to transform, it will not scale up. This is a problem I've run into, it, oops, I didn't mean to do that, that you, it's always telling you that it can't go much higher. Sometimes it'll let you, there, it won't let me go much higher than that, let's see, about, it'll probably let me go to, but it doesn't let you scale it to its full size. Like that wouldn't be over this big area here. So that's super annoying and can be a big pain. And but yeah, it's just absolutely annoying. So let's, the best way I found to actually scale your turret properly, this is probably a bug that will be fixed later on. That, Cause like if I, you can also scale it to some extent. So let's say one. Well, it let me do a one, but that's obviously not the size I need. I need it much bigger. And no, it's not gonna let me do it again. You've seen how much slow. Okay, so like I was saying, let's go ahead and talk about how I figured out the best way to make it scale. Okay, and that is actually to copy it. Now, you select it, that'll only select the base. Now, let's go ahead and transform this selection into the barrel hit apply boom now this whole thing is now considered as the barrel which is the biggest one that lets you scale now this will let us scale a little bit more let's try to go two times no still same bug still same problem it's not going to let me scale i'm not surprised but the way around this let's go ahead and copy the whole thing control c let's put the whole turret inside my thing here boom Okay, there we are. Now let's delete it. And let's go ahead and place it again. Let's make sure we are a block middle because we want to be on a block middle. Also, we want to use hit alt and select the middle piece of this turret. You, when you build a turret, you always want to have a very centralized middle piece because of, it's just a lot easier to deal with. So here we are. Now I have this right here and I can scale it just normally by holding Q or if I want to make it longer this way or that way it's basically you know the default of where you would how you would scale it so let's go uh, I did that again give me a sec uh, turret brace there we are now let's go ahead and scale it up to the right size well we're gonna want it I want it to be right on the very edges here now, if I scale this too big, I won't be able to 
to actually put it into the turret body, but I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to try to make sure I don't do that. Okay. So, boom. There. And now that's perfect size for this, this size of the ship. I really like that size. Actually, it probably could go a little bit bigger because I want it to be slightly on the very edge of it, but that, that's, that's big enough. That's about, cent oh, it's, is that centralized? Yeah, that's perfect. Now we have a problem because the entire thing is considered as a turret, turret, turret barrel and you see that's just lame looking <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and fix that now how do we fix that we're gonna select the entire base this is like I said it can be a little bit of an annoying thing process it'll probably be fixed that you will be able to scale it to <laughs> it to scale it up it probably will be fixed eventually but now it's not fixed so this is pretty much one of the only ways you can actually turret scale the whole thing properly Let's go ahead and continuously selecting all the parts of the base here. Then we'll just go ahead and transform the turret turret barrel into the, this is right now we're at the turret barrel. We're going to turn it into a turret body and hit apply. Uh, what just happened there? That didn't work. Wait. Oh, I had the. Huh? No, that shouldn't have happened. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't. I do. Ha what? Uh, I don't have hide other parts. My bad. Okay, that's what was going on. <laughs> okay, so as you see, this is the turret bo body now. I transformed it to turret body, but I didn't get all the pieces, so we can go back here and keep selecting the turret body. It can be a little bit depending. Thankfully, block uh, turrets can only go up to 200 parts, so it, it can't take too long to do this. It can take just a little bit of time. But this is one of the reasons why you'll want to build, if you go ahead and build a turret, you'll want to build it in a larger scale. So let's go ahead and transform this once again to the turret body. Hit apply. There we go. And let's see with the barrel. Did we get all the pieces? No, we did not get all the pieces. We're still missing the very bottom here. And yes. Uh -huh. And that, that, that I got them all last time, I think and transfer it to the turret body. Apply. Let's go back to the barrel. Uh, we're still missing one piece right there. That's the last one. Turret body. Apply. Now, we have um, a couple of problems with this. Is Now that we scaled it up, these things, these little blue, yellow, and red dots are not lining up. Now, as the base as the base, there is no base to this specific design, and I will make one with a base here in a few minutes. There's no base to this specific design. All that base basically is has to be. Um, so if we go to our base, all right, uh, this is the turning point. Okay, body. That little yellow dot is a sign body rotational point, and because this one has no specific base. This block right here can be my rotational point. So we're going to assign that as my rotational point. That means it will all revolve around that block. That's really good. Really easy to understand. I hope you get it. Okay, now let's go to the turret barrel. Now, as you can see, if I were to go ahead, let's go unhide everything and have it tilt up. That is tilting up, but it's not quite in the right place. See, the blue dot represents that, the blue dot right there but it's not quite in the right place. So let's go ahead and hide that and let's select this block as our rotational point because it's the block that goes straight through. It's the original block that's originally supposed to be a rotational block. So let's go ahead and assign barrel rotational point, this little point here. Boom, that's your rotational point. Okay, now when we rotate, it is perfectly on that axis, see? that acts as rotation. It's not in the wrong place anymore. It actually makes it look really nice because that's where the turret was originally designed to turn. Now let's go ahead and assign the barrel muzzle point. Now if I were to shoot this as it is right now, the bullets would be coming out here. It would be, look kind of lame. So we're going to go ahead and select, make sure we can just select both right here. Select these two points and make that now. We have a complete turret once again that is fully scaled to the to the size of our ship. It took a little bit of work, but it worked. Uh, it's, let's go ahead and assign that. Now, my biggest beef with these things is that, oh, I have it, I still have it on two. 
that the size of the turret does not affect damage at all. And that's just a big beef for me, okay? Because I have this massive gun now that's worth, I think, my build size. My build size on this turret, let's actually see, see what my turret size is, 2.5. So that's actually uh, probably around in between Xenon and Trinian. Not Xenon, no, 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 no. N N Nanite and Trinium size weaponry. But I have a 0.5 turret there. N slot, slots cost sl turret there. And I just don't, it's just, it's just super annoying that it does not scale with the, the damage does not scale with your size of your, your turret. Uh, I go, I went to a big, big talk about it on the, the forms and whatnot. So I won't really go into here. That is my biggest gripe with this whole turret, turret system. Well, one of the things. Now, here we have a problem is when we scale down the ship. Here's another, because scaling, everything to do with scaling, size, damage, and everything is currently not working very well. Oops, I'm sorry, I clicked too fat, too too many times. Uh, come on. Uh, one sec, your game froze up, I'll be right back. I'm sorry about that. Let's go ahead and scale this ship down. So we're gonna go ahead and jump it down. There we are, 0.51, I meant to go all the way down, but boom. Now, once again, the turret did not scale with my system. And now also we have a problem. We cannot edit this turret at all. It will not let us do anything with this turret block because we scaled it down and it does not like that. So if you have a bigger ship and thankfully you don't scale down much, it doesn't happen very often. But as you can, okay, let's go ahead and try to put a turret there. Even though this is a size turret, this is a 0.51 turret, it should go there. I mean, it, 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 it's 0 0.5. It will not go there. See, turret cannot go on this block. Now, how do you fix this, you ask me? It's just, it, it, it's busted. You can't do anything with it. It's actually pretty easy. It's just a bit annoying. So let's go ahead and fix it. What you have to do is transform it to a non-turret block. Iron armor, let's go ahead and transform it to iron armor, back to iron armor, boom. Now, you gotta leave the build mode and wait for the little red lines that sometimes appear when you transform or do anything with a thing to disappear. Now, after they disappear, you can come back into here and once again, transform it into an iron turret base. Boom, there we are. And now I can once again deal with it yes thankfully that's not a big big problem because you do not scale a ship down very often but it can be a little bit of annoyance and once again now because this is already a turret that's bigger we can use its design now so that's good let's go ahead and talk actually about building a turret I've been using a turret that I've downloaded from off the line offline so far Let's go ahead and actually talk about building a turret. Like I said that already. Now, there is a turret design I already have built. As we quickly whip together. Let's get over down over here. The problem, you can build a turret while obviously inside. You can build with the normal little blocks here. Let's go here, T. This is the turret I designed outside of the turret system. Now, the reason why I designed it outside of the turret system is because this, uh, when you're building inside the turret system, you are, your scales do not work very well, and you constantly end up having misalignment. That is just because it is in beta. It's the first iteration. I'm pretty sure Kanuchi will fix this. And a lot of these bugs I mentioned, Kanuchi may fix very, very shortly. Okay. I, all right, so this is my turret design that I want to use. Obviously, I'm going to just select the whole thing. It's a lot easier. I think period will probably almost always be easier to build your turret design outside of your ship. 
uh, outside of the turret builder, but I may be wrong. Kanushi may even add some special things to do it so you can do it on the inside. So let's go here, T. All right, now as this ship is way too small to go building that on there off the bat because, well, you want, like I said, you want to build it a bigger size anyway. Uh, so when you, you want to build your ship, your turrets, as large as possible so you can avoid the scaling problem with trying to make them, uh, and four, I think four is the default largest? I think it is. I'm not entirely sure. I think, it, I think the four is the default largest. It, um, you can scale a turret all the way up to 10, but there is no weapon that can actually use that as far as I know, because the five is the largest, the largest, largest slot one there is, uh, five slot one. And that is, okay, let's go ahead and scale this again. That is your coax weapons. And we'll go over coax weapons here in a little bit too. Let's go ahead and apply. So I'm going to go ahead and build a turret here after this actually unfreezes on me. This is, this is happening because I have a 13K block ship. So that's what's going on here. So let's go ahead and build. We obviously have this design. I don't need any of it anymore. Doom. Doom. Ah, it's, that's turret barrel. Doom. All right. Now, let's take the whole thing up to a size four. Uh, I'll go up just for good measure to size five. Now, when you go ahead and you implant one of these turrets, like, uh, oops, I forgot to control V. Actually, I already have it already copied, so I won't play, paste it again. When you go ahead and you scale one of these things up, let's go ahead and get the right size, place here, place here, this one here. There we are. Nope, I get the wrong one. Is it that middle? Yes. Okay. Now, when you go ahead and you, uh, when you place a turret, bring in, you want to bring it into the barrel because the base is too small and the body is also too small. You want to bring it into the barrel. It makes it the easiest. All right. So this is the ship. Uh, let's scale it in. No, that's going to be too big. Right there. Yeah, that, that's a little, let's take it, make it a little bit wider. And a little, oh, we're gonna have to actually shrink it down. It's poking out the backside there. All right, that's, uh, all right. So this turret's not quite designed for this place, but that's fine. Each turret will be difficultly designed for your, what, your ship. And this turret I designed for something else altogether. Okay, now I've placed it this turret and it is, not correctly in this right slots. Once again, like we did with the last one, we're gonna go ahead and select all the bottom pieces, which is my turret base, and bring them into my turret base. Apply. Oh no, they're too big. So that, like I said, I didn't quite make it the right size. So we have to undo and try this again. Because the turret base, or I could just, no, I can't scale that higher than five. Let's just right there. So let's see, actually see what the size of a turret base is. Okay, so this is already at the size of a turret base. I cannot actually make the base, this whole thing any bigger. All right, let's go ahead and bring that in. And then we'll go ahead and select the bottom pieces here again. And and then I'll go over, actually build, I'll do show you just a little bit of, if building is simple, normal as, okay, so let's go ahead and transform this into the base apply and hide all our pieces all right this is our base i'm missing the very middle let's go back to the turret barrel here we are but basically i'm pretty sure you get the idea of how to do this by now it's sinking sneaking easy it's not all that complicated and it, it's not too hard now if you're going to go ahead and build normally it's simple just grab your build and build that's it that's just it. you grab your blocks you got four four types of uh Three, uh, three types of blocks. You've got your blank hall, you've got your armor, and you've got your glow blocks, and glow blocks are awesome. Okay. Now, as I was saying though, your scale size is limited to, to 0.25, 
And that, when you're doing fight, uh, fine detail, even at this size of a turret, cannot actually sometimes be enough. And that's why I built it on the outside so I could get because I had some detail I had to have down under here. I couldn't get it at this. I couldn't get it to match at just this point, 25%. Uh, actually, it only used to go down to point 05. Ah, well, well, I think Kanichi may have changed it a little bit, or I'm just having a brain fart. One of the two. Uh, okay, so. That's why I built it outside because this doesn't quite get small enough. See, I'd, if, I, if I were to like put down another base, I'd actually want that to be super, super thin. And yeah, anyway, that's, that's the basics of building a turret. Now, right now my turret body doesn't have anything. I'll go ahead and reiterate, just show you it straight from, the, straight from scratch. Uh, well, not from scratch. I mean, completely just show you. Oops. Yeah, this is all the pieces I need here. These pieces for my turret. Uh, okay, select all these, and let's change this into a turret body. And what just happened there? Oh, I didn't actually transfer it to turret body. That was dumb. I am so sorry about that. I actually just jumped to turret body instead of actually transferring it to turret body. Uh, okay, now let's transfer it to turret body. Apply. And let's go back to barrel and make sure we're not missing any of these pieces. Which we're missing a few of them. And body. Uh, oh, I did it again! That's the second time! Okay, there we are. Now transform the turret body. Apply. Now, now that I have this done, let's go ahead and show all the parts. There we have a problem. A little bit, not much of a big problem, because it still looks like that turns properly. But the problem with it is that the blue, the yellow dot is down there. But because it's actually in line with it, it's not a big deal. So let's go. We're on the turret body. Let's see what happens if I put the rotational point over here. Let's see. Nah, it's not a proper rotational point. Now, also, I don't have any Pacific piece in the very middle. So what am I supposed to do? I mean, now I have that in the wrong place. I can't do anything about it. It's stinking easy. Don't worry. Just select your your rounder blocks, your um, all the blocks, so it will be jump right into the middle. Watch now, boom! It's in the middle where it needs to be. See? Woo! And I, for some reason, I hit all the other blocks again. There, perfectly in line, even though I had no Pacific block in the middle. All right, let's reset that. And once again, where do I want my, my, this is my turret top. Where do I want my rotational point? I want my rotational point, this block, and uh, this block. Oh wait, no, oh, no, oh. Here we have a problem. We have it having three pieces, to, and this side only has one piece. So what do I supposed to do there? Well, that's simple, easy as well. Just select all of these three pieces. If I can actually get that there, give me a sec. There we are. Now we go ahead and we'll assign our turret turn point. And once again, it's perfectly aligned where we want to have the turning for it to turn. Yes. Okay, now how about our barrel? Let's reset. We have one piece left to deal with. If this thing shoots at its currently playing, let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Right down there is the red dots. Okay, so let's go ahead and put on our little gun piece here. That organite. There we are. 64. Apply. And you will see that it's shooting from. What, um, do I not have. Yeah, I took that off. Sorry. There we are. Oh, that was not the right one. That's minor workforce. Gunner workforce. There we are. You will see that if I actually go to number two control mode. And. Come on. Just having a little bit of problem with my camera. There we are. Shoot. Why aren't you shooting? I can't shoot. It's not being able to, sh there we are. You can see that it's not shooting from the barrel. It's shooting from the base. That's like, easy fix though. Go ahead, select, and transform. And let's go ahead and make it suit from the correct location. Now this one is four pieces. Uh, uh, 
the barrel piece here, this alien looking turret, which is not the best looking turret. It's four pieces, but we can sign that there. Now, it's because this thing only shoots one, it'll shoot in the very middle of that location. So let's un there. And you, oh, actually it rotates between all four. I didn't know that. Oh, that's pretty cool. It rotates between all four of those things. So it's like a, a traveling barrel. Okay, uh, if you were to use a Tesla gun, though I don't, I'm not sure what it'd do if it used a Tesla gun. Let's go ahead and build, let's transform this into um, Avron, an Avron turret base. Transform. Boom, now we got an Avron turret base. I can put an Avron weapon or any quality, thing, quality better weapon there. Let's go ahead and put a Tesla turret. Do I have a Tesla turret? Yes, I have a double Tesla turret for this example. And it is too big. Okay, I thought four, five was, four was the biggest. Oh wait, what size actually? No, it's a size of what? Oh, there's our turret already in this position. Duh. Not a slot for this turret. Of course. Give me a sec. I will go ahead and throw on something now. Allow me to have the turret sizes I need. Building. Back in here. Let's go ahead and select the turret Tesla. There we go. Size slot two. Boom. And let's see where it shoots from. Ah, it shoots from all four. That's actually pretty neat. I did not know that. Yeah, that's cool. So it actually shoots four strands, even though it's a single Tesla. I bet it shoots four lasers too if you do that. That's really cool. I did not know that. Okay. So that's the basics of building a normal turret uh, and its problems with it. Now, now let's go ahead and talk about coax weapons. We'll do that very quickly and very fast. So let's go ahead. I'm going to jump to another, uh, another save file. I'll be right back. All right. So here we are at the very end of the game, and we're going to talk a little bit about coax weapons. This is a place where I can put a coax weapon. So uh, let's go here. So let's go ahead and select this turret mount. It's an Avron turret mount. It's a, a place, and right here, we're going to switch it to a coaxial confirm, okay? Now, a coaxial weapon has no turning, no nothing, it is permanently mounted, and cannot do any of the other, cannot swivel at all. So I'm going to go ahead, and it only has one part, and that is the default part. Let's see, is this the piece I wanted to show? No. It's to take, uh, and my camera just stopped on me. Like... Sorry about the small technical difficulty. Okay, so this is the thing I'm going to use. But first, we're going to need to make this turret size the proper size. So we're going to scale it up to the max size of 5.5. And we're going to go ahead and use something I've already pre-designed a little bit beforehand. It's, it's just the copy of that most popular one. We're gonna go ahead and just move it in here, put it in where, there we are, and we're gonna scale it. Do, 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 do. And I think we're gonna go a little bit thicker. Okay, boom. There we are. That is a fixed coaxial weapon. It does not turn. And actually, with a little bit of work, that would look really, really sweet. As you can tell, at least I think it would. Okay, let's go ahead and do that to the other side real, real quick here. Edit this turret. Let's delete this. And once again, bring this in. Swing this around. It's just showing you this a couple times. It's really easy. Coax coaxial weapons have no moving parts, no nothing. They just are straightforward really easy there we are local glid one block middle there we are scale and actually there we are Boom. okay inactive both of them are obviously inactive now let's go ahead and make them active 
and my DPS. Uh, so your coaxial weapons, I've only ever looted a coaxial weapon from the end boss of the game. I have never loaded them anywhere else, so I have no idea where you would normally get them. I have not even seen them being able to be bought in the vendor uh, by ex equipment. There, just the same as that, right there, that is your coaxial weapons. Now, coaxial weapons in of themselves are absolutely useless though. They're a brilliantly awesome ideal, but they're useless. And you're like, why? Why would you say they're useless? Well, they only shoot directly forward. They don't have any turning ability at all. Oh, here, I'll go ahead and turn it. Delete. They only shoot. They, it, it's Kanuchi's uh, ideal of a spine-mounted weapon. Uh, so, what we've been asking for forever. However, the, it's not quite there at this point. It's just not. Because <laughs> that, as you can see, that's it's it's not going to ever hit anything, and they don't converge on the target. Also, not only that, to actually see where they're going to aim. If let's say I'm going to go ahead and put a coaxial weapon on the very front of my uh, ship, so to do that, I'm going to need to bring up our right here. Need to have a ever on. Just I'm not going to build a turret or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and match block up. No, that middle block. No snap. Here we go. All right, let's make sure it's big enough. There we are. Put a coaxial right here, this one. Smack dab right in front. There we are. Now, to actually get this coaxial weapon to hit, you can see it does not aim at your turret, your target. And you can... It, this is her, like if you're using a railgun, you would never be able to see where it actually hit. And that's because they only shoot straight forward and to actually see right where, to actually get it to aim right where you'd actually be trying to hit it, you would have to aim your camera like this to actually see where it would be hitting. So I should probably actually have a, because I do have one. Right here, I have a railgun or yeah, railgun. So, uh, Continuous weapons aren't as bad. You might be able to use them, but with a railgun, you're never gonna really see where it's gonna hit that easy. You gotta kind of, there you go. You gotta line it up perfectly every time, and you gotta move your, you gotta move your entire camera to an awkward position to actually be able to see where it's going to hit. <laughs> and that's why coaxial weapons are not not quite there. Hopefully they'll have some rotation. I think a good 20, 25% rotation um, would make them usable because they should definitely be able to converge on the same target. And I, I really like the idea of spine-mounted weaponry. I really do. And everyone's been asking for it for almost three years now since the game came out. And finally he gets a small implementation of spine-mounted weapons. Still very limited, but it's there. And that is coaxial weaponry. It, as you can see, with a little bit of work, they can look really, really awesome. I, I think it, I, I think if I brought this whole thing back a bit and redesigned that little look, that would be just, that's exactly what I want. You know, the, the two side mounted coaxial weapons and a massive uh, top, uh, swiveling turret on top for my, my capital cru cru cruiser, just jumps in and goes... <laughs> But, you know, you know, that's that's not neither here nor there. That's my own style. That is, though, the end of this tutorial. I hope I have made it very abundantly clear how easy and how to do this. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the, the comment area, and I will try to get back to you. I love designing my own turrets. I haven't done too much of it, but I really love the ideal. Hopefully it becomes a lot more refined in the future and it will actually affect the damage in the future as well. That's just one of my greatest hopes because I think it's an absolute must uh, for being able to design ships the way you like them. And if you want to know how I would think that would work, um, well, I'll just tell you real quick because uh, we're already over time anyway. Uh, I think that uh, right now, uh, a, a, a weapon can cost up to five slots, okay? But it's obviously a lot bigger than, okay? Five slots for a weapon. Oh, that's actually cost six slots. Okay, so a weapon can cost up to six slots. And so instead of just six slots, you would make a weapon being able to cost anywhere to like 30, up to 30 slots um, 
and then you increase the max amount of slots you have. Uh, and you also decrease the max amount, decrease the damage so, to, uh, proportionally. So instead of this costing six slots, it would cost, you know, let's say, let's actually just say three times. So there's 12, 18, so 18, so 18 slots, but this, this weapon would currently cost. And as it's scaled, it would go in those things. And instead of only having 30 slots, you would have uh, 90 slots, yes. So, and the damage wouldn't change any that much da damage output. They're like it's th it's this being a six slot, would still have the exact same amount of damage it does, but if I scaled it to a seven slot, it would have a seven slot, seven slot amount of damage. So I hope I made that clear. Yeah, it's, it's really simple. I think it'd work, but it's up to Kanuchi to put, in, put that into the game. I, I would like to, love to be able to, to edit our ships the way we'd like them and actually control a little bit more control over the damage. Now, obviously, your, ter your, your these things are still going to de dedicate how much the type of damage and the damage percentage, the quality of the weapon and whatnot, but you'll actually be able to, I would hope you'd be able to eventually able to scale and affect the damage in some way. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you got something out of it. And our time is more than over. Uh, if you have likes, care, shares, comments, and... Uh, Subscribe if you would. Lord Mad Dog, signing off.